Hey friends, Not Link here, and welcome back to Roblox Big Paintball. Today, we're gonna revisit this game, because last time we were in here, there was this big update, they had these cool new guns released, new maps, etc., and that was really cool and really awesome, but they also kind of ruined the game. And so I've come back to see whether or not the game is still the way in which I thought was ruined the game, um, or if they've made some changes. I basically just want to see what's going down, um, see if we can get a good score and see what happens. So if you didn't see the first episode, or I guess the two second ones, I'll put those in the description. Go check them out so you can see an in-depth reasoning as to why I think a lot of this is like negative changes. But the main thing is that they got rid of free-for-all maps, and I think that's awful. Uh, spawning isn't super great. I don't like how it takes forever for me to jump in spawning, uh, as well as you can run into people and climb up them and it, it's just weird. But yeah, for more in-depth details as to why I think this update wasn't the best update in the world, go check out those videos. Links in the description below. But let's get started and let's see what kind of stuff changes they've made so far. And if you're excited, don't forget to leave a like. And of course, if you are new, please do consider subscribing to join the channel. I would love to have you. Let's see. Um, well, let's just hope things are a little better. Okay, so first thing, we only have casual maps, which is fine. It looks like people are going to go bridge. I'm cool with that. But casual maps, we'll see. I kind of want to use a few of the different guns to see what extra stuff they've added. But I want to start with the, the, the money gun that I usually use. And it looks like... Now, is that just me or have they added a roof to that? Because I know... I read reports of people getting upset because people were somehow managing to get in there and, like, just sitting and spawn camping. I wonder if I can do it. Let's see. If I just... Whoa, okay. Well, whoa, where am I? <laughs> I want to be able to jump in. I don't know how they did it, if I'm honest. But I feel like we could probably do it. Oh, yeah. If I... Did they add a roof there? Um, I don't know. It doesn't look like it, but I can't really get in there. Oh, oh, no, okay. I'm sure if I tried hard enough, I could. Oh, wait a second. Do you see at the bottom? I need 80 kills for a nuke. Okay, that's new. Usually it's 99 kills, but now it's 80? Um, I mean, I guess it encourages people to get nukes more often, but it's not as fun, honestly. Oh, whoa. Hold on, that's different. Wait, let's find somebody to shoot because... Oh, no, the deploy countdown is still there. Okay, but wait, wait, I want to show you this. Let me get this guy, hopefully, ready. And, okay, we're not there. Did you see that? So, along with the money explosion, there's also this little blue explosion. I have not seen that before. Now, is that for all guns or just the money gun? I guess we'll find out soon. Yeah, see, there it is again. There it is again. It doesn't last long, but I wonder if we could... I want to see other people shoot some people so that we can get other ideas. Wait, come on, get shot, get shot. Come on, come on. Okay, so it doesn't... It isn't just the money gun. It's all of them. I mean... Hmm. I, I don't know if I like that change. Just because then, like, what's the point of the unique gun explosion things or, you know, particles? Because, yeah, granted, it's still, like, a little unique, but it's kind of all similar. Let's see, because this one definitely has a unique one. Um, okay, yeah. So, I guess what it does is it still... Oh, that's different, too! It used to, like, not explode like that. Oh, this is so weird. So, I guess it still has the blue thing, the blue little outline, right? But it also has the unique texture. What's the word I'm looking for? Effect? That's the word. It has the blue effect on all the guns, but also its unique effect based on the gun you're using. Now, one thing I do want to test out here when I die as well is um, 
I like this one obviously is blue, right? And I did mention before that it would be cool if they added like green and gold for these ones. So let's jump in and we'll see if it is still the blue texture, which I kind of think it is just because all of them seem to be blue texture, but it would be really neat if these ones were a little different. All right, can I get you? No, okay. So it is still the blue, which is unfortunate. Oh good, they took that out. But I kind of wish that was a change that they made. I don't know if I like the blue texture. Like, don't get me wrong, I love the effect, but doesn't it just kind of ruin the fact that all of them had a unique effect to begin with? I think it kind of does. Let's see if we use something like the balloon gun, because the balloon gun, they go and they fly up into the air. So I'm wondering to see what the particles will look like that way. Come on, get him, get him, get him. Okay, yeah, so it does still do the blue effect with the balloon. It's kind of exactly what you would expect. So I have noticed, and this of course is one of the things that I had one of the biggest issues with, is if you see, if I run into her, yeah, you still, you still walk right over her. Come on, come on, come on. Walk right over. Now, genuinely, right? I don't know if that was a thing beforehand, but I feel like I would have noticed it if it was a thing. And now that I notice it, it's driving me nuts. Like if you just hit anybody, even slightly, you're you're done for. And it's just, ah. Uh. Also, the fact that I can't spawn in instantly. I think the cooldown, though, has reduced a little bit. Let me check that, because I have been able to touch it, and it's pretty much ready to go. Um, as opposed to before, I'm, like, clicking it multiple times. So let me, I'm probably just gonna go die. And, uh, see if, what the cooldown is. So let's go. Let's get hit from these guys. Go, go, go. Okay. So it's not quite as quick. I don't know if they reduced it. I didn't check the time, but I thought it was a little better. Maybe not. <laughs> also, am I going delusional? Or is this, like, faster than normal? What? I want to go use the P90, because this looks a little faster than normal. And now, granted, it's been a long time since I've played this game properly, and I've definitely slacked off a lot, but... I have a feeling. Okay, let me switch to the P90. Is it close? Okay, so the P90 is slightly faster, but not by much. The money gun is actually, I think it has been upgraded. Has it? Okay, let's see if we can get people to do a skill map because I think I'd love to see some differences in that one. Oh no, come on, over here, this one. We just did a casual, please. please. No, all right, I'm gonna do some server hopping. So this one obviously uh, has started, but it's pretty close in. So it looks like already you can tell the free-for-all maps are still team matches. And you know what? I We all know about my feelings on that, all right? I already hate it. I love the, like, the free-for-all maps. Those were my thing, and I'm very upset that they changed it. Um, but it does seem... Okay, wait, let me keep track. So I spawned here, and I spawned in that tower last time. So maybe, just maybe, it might be like a two tower spawn rate on this one. So in... I didn't shoot anyone. Why did I get... Did I shoot someone? Okay, well, regardless, in theory, as I was saying, they should spawn in this one and in that one. I'm not seeing anyone here, though. But, man, it's so sad... That, like, we've already lost it. Um, we've lost the free-for-all maps. Yeah, where is everybody? Is there anybody even not on our team? And the thing is, right, I've said this, like, so many times about free-for-all maps, is that I would love, or not free-for-all maps, um, team death matches, is that there's no additional point to team death matches. Like, if your team wins... There's no bonus for your team. There's literally zero advantage to team death matches because you're getting half of the credits because there's only half of the people to shoot at and like you're getting no bonus. There's literally zero point. And so the fact that they've changed the free for all maps to be a uh, team death matches as well or skill matches first to 100, 
I really hate it and I think it's dumb. <laughs> okay, yeah, so you can see that there's a bunch of the other people spawning in that tower. So my theory is wrong. It looks like they can spawn literally anywhere. So you might have like a little bit of an advantage like these people will spawn here sometimes, but not all the time. I don't know. It's a little confusing and it's kind of difficult to find people that aren't on your team. I guess it does give you more use for the radars though. Do you see all of these people spawning in that one area? I did put a sentry up near the door, but oh great. We're in the floor again. Um I guess how do I say this nicely? I'm okay with the changes they've made. Because you know what? Ultimately, it's their game. And if that's the way they want to do it, fine. You know, who am I to complain? But at the same time, I am an avid paintball player, or at least I was. And so it is very difficult for me to see the game go in this direction, especially because so many people are upset about the changes. And it's been a good while since, like, we made those videos. So I was hoping they would have listened to some of the feedback people were saying and that a little thing, like, a little bit more would change. Uh, but in reality, it seems like the only thing that's actually changed is the nuke count. And they've turned that to 80 instead of um, 99 or instead of what? I think at one point it went down to 52, which is outrageous in my opinion. I think that's far too low. <laughs> but I don't know. I feel like they just tried so hard um, to do so many things and it just didn't quite work for them. But at the same time, you know what? If that's the game they want to play, that's fine. Um, I just don't think it's necessarily what the players wanted. So, I mean, take that as you will. Technically, it is their game and they can do what they want. I just would have done things differently myself. <laughs> I don't know what's happening here, but I was climbing up on the walls, getting kills. Um, I do have seven minutes left. I wonder if I can get a nuke. I'd love to, just to see if it's any different. But I, man, this is so broken. You never used to be able to climb on things to that extent, but now you can and it feels kind of weird. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I will because one guy's at 99 kills and it's first to 100. Yeah. See, that's another thing. It's hard to get nukes. I guess on what? Classic you'd be able to uh, as opposed to skill. But yeah, on skill maps, you know, unless you're first place. And of course, I did come in a little later and I'm still learning that. Um, I can't really figure out the nukes. That's, is there anything different on this map? Let me take a quick peek. So something I didn't notice before, but I'm pretty sure is a thing now, is that your like safety bubble, your spawn bubble, um, used to disappear as soon as you started like shooting or sprinting. That doesn't seem to be the case anymore. They just seem to stay there for a certain amount of time, which is making it really difficult to get spawn kills because, you know, they, they're just not, they're taking forever to spawn <laughs> because they've got the protective barrier. And now I'm sure for a lot of people, that's a really nice change because then you don't get spawn killed. And I know a lot of people weren't super fond of spawn killing, um, but I just personally liked it because it made like, especially free for all maps, getting kills easy and getting nukes really easy. But I can certainly see why that's a positive change. Again, just not a change I would have made, but this isn't my game. <laughs> so you can see here, right? They, uh, they're they all spawning here. And in theory, we should have had no problem getting them. But because, you know, they're not shooting back, or they are shooting back, but because they have that spawn bubble, it's not nearly as easy to get them. I am really close to a nuke, and I'm hoping I'll be able to get it. There we go. Okay, so let's hit it, and let's see if... Oh, come on. We gotta get... Is it at least gonna be kind of interesting? Okay, so it's the same thing, and I think because of that spawn protect thing, it's definitely not as easy to get as many kills. You're not going to see the huge kill feed on the side, which is kind of sad. Okay, what is happening? Now all of a sudden we're getting mad kills. I'm going to be the first to 100. Hey, let's go! One more kill! Come on, come on. Where is everybody? Where is everybody at? I've lost it. Yes! There we go! <laughs> I was expecting to be first. I just wanted a nuke. All right. Well, that's not bad at all. And I wanted to check um, because I should at this point now have enough stars to go to the next level. 
but I think the highest level is still 100. So it doesn't matter which bridge, but let's see. Yeah, okay, so it just continues to gain stars. You'll continue to get rewards, but you won't gain any levels. I kind of hope that they uh, get higher levels than 100, but either way. So final thoughts, it's the same thing. Um, they did make a few cool changes where, you know, they've got the fuel, uh, the blue effect on every kill, which I think is nice so that even if you're using something like the default gun, it's still a little cool. Um, although it is weird that like, it's double effects, but either way. But for the most part, all of the things that I had critical to say, unfortunately, are still in the game. But it's not my game. It's not my rules. If that's what they want to do, that's what they want to do. Who am I to complain? Let me know what you guys uh, think about the update in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I've also heard that there's a lot of issues with mobile and jumping. So feel free to talk about that in the comments because I want to read more about it. See what your concerns are and what you think they could do to make this a better game. But either way, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. And of course, if you are new, please do consider subscribing to join the channel. I would love to have you. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Bye now.